So I got a uh, twice two gigs DDR3 as I already told you guys and remove it carefully out of the box and again without touching that metal part. So there you go. Uh, maybe you already noticed but um, the how do you say um, if you got more gigs uh, more gigs of RAM than the previous you'll notice that it's also a little heavier and try to get in there with this about 30 degree angle it should get in there and then you, you normally just push in uh, the RAM so it should do sort of a click I guess um, so that's for one and just again repeat the same procedure for uh, the second one if you got twice so my RAM is from Kingston uh, it's also a brand but most uh, most of the people get the the um, RAM of uh, the Mac RAM from OWC or Crucial so I'll put all the links in the description for you guys there you go so I'm gonna turn it over and again with about 30 degree angle try to get in there it should be fairly easy to get them in uh, so you gotta be sure they're in correctly sometimes it might be, uh, be a little tricky but so there you go for me they're in now so now you're done uh, be sure that they're both in the, the sort of latches here so you got two latches and then you're basically done for adding the new RAM so I'm gonna show the whole thing now well the you basically done the diff most difficult part just now I have to um, put back all the parts you undid so just this one is pretty easy to put on just put this and keep uh, the latch here just keep it open so uh, you'll see why later so now just put the screws back in the same position so again for this one uh, be sure to get the same screw you took out of there because it's different of all the other ones so for that one be pretty careful um, so then the four bottom ones So then just take your screwdriver and screw them all in. So be sure to not uh, break the screws because uh, uh, so to avoid that have the correct screwdriver and uh, try to put them in as careful as possible. So you don't want the screws to break because then uh, you can't get them out anymore so be careful on that. So you'll notice that the four bottom ones are the most annoying that that's why it took me the most of the time and just be sure they're they're not too tight but just okay you know just how you found them so again be sure to not break the screws So again you need a good screwdriver, uh, I recommend the Philips uh, OO screwdriver, um, but I didn't have that, but this one works as well, so for you guys who, has a P uh, for you guys who have a PSP, PlayStation Portable, uh, it's the same screwdriver as the PlayStation, so that's why uh, I use this one. So uh, then you're basically done with the screws, uh, now it's pretty easy, just have to put in the battery. So to put in the battery, you have to make sure the latch is totally open. So if it's closed, the battery won't go in. So don't try to force. Just first check if the latch is open. Then just put the bottom ear, uh, put the bottom of the battery in first, and then it will just just get in pretty easy. And keep that latch open to put in the battery cover, and then it should click, and the latch will automatically close. So, uh, 
gonna load the camera a bit. So now just turn over your Mac and put it open and put it back on. So it's gonna take uh, a little. It's gonna take a little longer than uh, usual to go on, but that's because you just changed the RAM. So that's pretty normal. But as long as you hear that noise, uh, I mean that sound, starting up sound, and the app logo, it should be all good. Uh, for the RAM you took out, be sure to uh, keep the RAM. If you still have your warranty on uh, your Mac if, uh, and your Mac breaks, you need those uh, RAMs, you need those RAM parts uh, if you want to replace your Mac. So. And just to check if you correctly inserted the RAM, go to your Apple in the top left corner and just click on about this Mac. Normally there should be the amount of RAM you're added right here in memory. For me it's 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, so that is totally correct. If you only see 2 gigs and you insert it 4 for example, uh, this can have two possibilities. So the first possibility is obviously that you didn't insert the top one correctly. Or the second possibility, which is most uh, frequent to occur, is that while inserting the top RAM, the bottom RAM uh, popped out. Pop popped out. So that means while while you were uh, inserting the second RAM, uh, the the one you put it underneath there, it uh, just removed it from itself because you um, those latches. Remember, yeah, because you pressed on those latches at the same time you were inserted the second one. The first one popped up. So that could be also uh, a problem. So if that happens, uh, you can personal message me if you have any problems. But again, I'm not uh, responsible for any of your MacBook crashing, but um, pretty ha uh, I can obviously help you uh, if it's possible. So uh, then if that happens, just open up your Mac, do exactly the same thing. You can watch my video again. and. Uh, it should work. If it really doesn't work, uh, you may go as well to your Apple Store and ask them. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you all liked it. I know it's pretty long, but um, I mean, I told you guys it was taking 15 minutes, and this video is 10 minutes, but I accelerated some parts, so that's why. Um, so thanks for watching. Please leave comments or rate the video. Subscribe as well. Peace.